Hey, hey, and welcome back to the channel. If you caught up on my last uh, video, you would have noticed I mentioned about a, um, uh, it was winter time, it was getting quite hard to get a couple of bikes, but I managed to score a couple of bikes just beside me here, and a couple more actually in the shed out the back, but um, they'll stay there for a, for a little bit until I come up with a plan on what to do with those. Uh, but at the moment, what I'm, I've got a couple here, and I want to run through what I want to do, and uh, hopefully you like the plan, and I, I think it's just something different, so I want to try and do something in that direction. So uh, I'll just show you what I've got. So as you can see from this pick, it's a uh, semi-modern, not not new new, but it um, it's like a maybe an early 2000s bike. I don't know. Whatever, it's just another one of these uh, alloy Avantis with carbon fork and it's got gears basically and there's a steely over here but I'll fill you in on that in just a sec. So um, yeah, this is early 2000s Avanti road bike, comes with um, Tiagra 9 speed gearing on it and some mismatch wheels and you know, everything's, everything's alright, the gearing's working, everything's in pretty good condition. Um, frame's a little old and worn out looking but that's to be expected on a road bike really of this era Now this bike cost me about a hundred bucks so uh, as far as geared road bikes goes it's actually quite cheap to get something that's ready to almost ready to go it does need a full overhaul you know it needs a service and bar tape and all that thing if I was to use it like that but um no I think um the idea I've got is going to be with this bike so as you can see here this is a londoner it's a doors so an english bring that around here there we go it's a doors bike and it happens to be a um reynolds 531 so she's a goodie nice double butted frame set uh, relatively light um and it has some nice styled lug work on it which is always a good little bonus to have because doors, the early doors tend to have a nice setup on them. So, um, yeah, nice looking bike. It's overall pretty tidy. There's no major dings or anything in it. It's just got a bit of surface rusting. Classic doors printed in the stays there. Uh, you can tell it had potentially had center pulls, so it sort of ages the bike. It puts it into the 70s probably, maybe mid, early to mid 70s. Um, and having the Reynolds stuff on it. it may have been restickered. I don't know for sure. But I think a London is like a com commuter version of the bike, probably a nice version. So um, it's a Reynolds fork as well. It's got a remnants of a 531 badge on the fork. So overall, it is another biggie. It's probably, uh, I think it's a 60. So it's a big frame, but I can ride these ones just, like I say. So what I might do with this is I'm thinking I'll give it a clean up. And I might even touch up the paint a wee bit once I scrub it down and see what the condition's like. Just to give it... Give it a you know a nice finish. Um, I might actually tape off a few of the stickers, even take tape off the uh, Londoner badge uh, decal and even the Reynolds badge, and then obviously the Doors badge on the head tube. So I might tape it all off real neat, and then just uh, scuff back the frame and give it a, a top up of gloss black just to make sure it looks nice. Because my plan is, when I say something different, is going to be taking the group set off this one, which is, you know, a geared group set, and putting it onto the old school Steely, which has been done many times before, but it's something I quite like. It's kind of like a, a retro style build, but then when you look at it, it's, it's fully geared. Um, I reckon this bike would be a real nice, smooth, resilient frame to ride. Been a, been a well settled 531 frame. So I reckon putting these gears onto it, um, running STI onto this old girl, would turn out quite a nice steel frame to ride actually. Probably a really good commuter, a real good sort of entry level road bike as well. So uh, I do like my steel bikes and I do like retrofitting these sort of things onto it. So yeah, that's my plan. So the idea is to strip the parts off this sucker and um, Obviously, to fund that bike a little bit more, I may need to sell this one on. So what I'll be left with is uh, I'll leave the wheels on this bike, potentially, the wheels and tires, and I'll put on a different set of, a group set of some sort. And of course, I'll give it a go and I'll try uh, single speeding it. So it's never easy, but I've had good success in the past doing uh, getting the chain line 
and chain length correct on these these bikes that were never designed to have a single speed so we'll give it another shot and see if we can get it so i'll remove these cranks these derailleur and shifter and i'll put it all onto the londoner and uh I'll put this bike out the door as a alloy single speed with carbon four. It's still quite uh, attractive to some people, so and that would hopefully fund a little bit more on this bike. So uh, yeah, I'll show you what I've got over here. So the cranks I'm thinking of using for the single speed build. These ones here, and this is a uh, what have we got? 38 tooth. So hopefully I can get the chain length to work with a 38 and potentially a uh what's this little puppy this is like an 18 tooth i think from memory this is like a yeah 18 tooth so i'll run those two um as the single speed setup and we'll see if we can find a chain that will uh that will be a be of good stretch and length to fit that setup bar tape is not for that bike um these are the bars and stem i'm thinking of putting on the londoner so just at the moment that's my first thought anyway but we'll go we'll get caught up in that so what I'm thinking is I'll put some classic riser bars on, uh, on the Avanti, run the lock-on grips, maybe change the stem for an ITM, I've got a bunch of chains to try. Uh, as for saddles, I'm not sure which way I'll head, there's a green one on that one and there's a yellow one there, but we'll see which way I head. A couple of the usual plastic brand new pedals to run on that, and at the moment that's where I'm at with parts. So. We should be able to make it work because obviously the wheels will stay on this bike and I don't need to find wheels. So this one, I've got another set of wheels. I'll go hunt out the back and make sure I've got the right set of wheels to fit this bike. Those brakes off the Avanti will go on this bike. So hopefully they've got enough reach because this will be a 27 inch wheeled bike, not a, not a, not a 700C. It is of that era. So hopefully they'll reach, but we'll find that out when we get to it. Um, so this bike will get those handlebars, I might change the seat post, I may put an adapter in the head tube, I've got to possibly update this headset or I'll see how it scrubs up first, um, I always like to leave them but we'll see if that comes up cleaner because it's got a bit of surface rusting on it, it's looking a bit scoty. Uh, we will need stuff like a bracket system to hold the STI cabling into the frame, we do need that. And um, we'll probably update the bottom bracket as well, as this one sounds great. <laughs> I don't think there's any grease left in that one, but we'll be cleaning this area up, removing that bottom bracket, and uh, yeah, making that a more modern setup. So we'll be running those cranks onto the Londoner. So I'm pretty excited about it. I think it'll make a, a really nice bike. Um, I enjoy building this style of bike, kind of old school steel with a slight modern touch to it. As you know, my Graveler Holdsworth over there is exactly that, and that bike's a dream to ride. So, yeah, we'll uh, see how this goes. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to start by ripping into this one and working on this bike first, getting all this pulled apart and turning it into a single speed and getting this out the door. I don't have room to just have this sitting around, so... Well, probably the next video I make will be of me stripping this down and turning this into a single speed first. And then we'll assess the parts we have for this puppy. And this will need a bit of an overhaul, like I say. I'll get this strip. Well, I won't strip it down, but I will do a bit of a paint touch up to make it look a bit cleaner. And uh, get this ready for a build. So, if, um, yeah. So, quite looking forward to it. Hope you stay tuned for this sort of thing, and um, I will put the next video out shortly, but I thought I'd give you this wee, wee short video first, fill you in on what's happening, and uh, I will touch base with you guys on the next one. So thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel, and give me a thumbs up, because you know, I'm just a little, little guy here doing little things. So uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and see you later.